All right, so here's the next project on the bench. This is a 1949 Admiral 20X136N. Client that gave it to me had recapped it. It was working for about a year and then he lost high voltage on it. So there's no picture. And he said he's had too many projects in the pipeline to take a look at it. So he said if he'd let me look at it. He gave me a box of, you know, all the tubes it takes, replacement tubes, speakers in there. He also gave me a bag of uh, these doorknob resistors that you see in the high voltage section if one had gone bad. So I'll check that out. But I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the case and just poke around and see what's going on. So here it is, out of its case. <clears throat> I hadn't seen this before to hold down the picture, picture tube, just like a, a cloth to hold it down. That's pretty cool, it's usually metal. But I mean, maybe that's, I'm sure it, this is definitely not original, but cool improvisation, improvisation. Um, so when I took it out, this was on the anode cap was off, so, I mean, I didn't even hear high voltage being generated. I tried turning it on a couple nights ago. I didn't hear high voltage or vertical going. Um, and this is interesting, sort of a, I hadn't seen this type of ion trap before, but it's like got two, like a double ion trap, so that's interesting. But I'm not going to mess with any of the fine tuning. I just want to get the high voltage back up before I fiddle with anything. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and test the tube though, just to see how it tests. Uh, just so I can report back to the guy how the tube tests, that sort of thing. All right, so it's a 12 LP4. So we're going to go ahead and put it to 6.3. Filament's going. I'm just gonna let it sit on that for a second. So I guess this set had three different options for the picture tube depending on the chassis model. And this is a 20Y1 chassis. So you can see there, 20Y1, 12LP4. It's cool that they had a 10BP4 uh, version of this set. I like the the smaller picture tubes. All right, let's go ahead and check for shorts, which I don't think there would be any. Nope. Oh, wow, mission is great. Cut off. Yeah, it's right about where it should be. So looking under it, he did a you know good job of placing all the caps and some resistors. And it looks like the doorknob cap was the culprit. So you can see it back there, sort of just moving around. And I think it was supposed to be screwed into here. And it came, I guess the screw fell out or something. Lost high voltage. Because nothing else seemed out of place or it came unsoldered, none of that. So yeah, that looks like what happened, so I'm gonna see if I can take the high voltage cage off, and see if I can get under there, cause that looks like a pain in the ass. All right, so that looks like that's exactly what happened. You can see, rectifier, it's supposed to go down. Uh, let's see if I can focus down there. There we go. Supposed to go down into that little hole the doorknob cap is, and if I can get it situated down there. Okay, so yes, it looks like a screw is supposed to go up in there from the bottom and then connect on that little screw down there. So let me see if I have a correct screw that'll fit in there to connect them both. 
and get back to you. All right, so I got a screw back in there to connect those two points. So I'm pretty sure that should be it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna see. I'm gonna bring it up and see if we get an image. All right, so I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna put on my pattern generator. I'm not gonna bring it up on a Variac because it had already been restored and he was using it. So hope this is what it needs. Fifty-four watts, one twenty dropping. It's good. High voltage. Where's the brightness control? Oh, wait. Is it on? Okay, hold on. What's going on here? Um, controls on the back? Yeah, but those are going to be brightness. Oh, there it is. Ion trap was off. Let's see if we can get a full picture here. Move it back now, move it forward. Yeah. Let's see if we can get it on a channel that'll, that'll work. Oh, it was on battery check. I'm a dumbass. There we go. Okay. All right. So I need to see if there is a focus or if this set even has a focus knob. That's vertical or it might be height. What's this? Let's see. Uh, that might. I think that's vertical linearity or height. Can't tell right now. Let's see. Horizontal drive. Horizontal lock. No. Maybe this had a focus knob on the front. I know these old sets did have that. Oh, there we go. Wow, I was correct. I mean, that doesn't look too bad. Oh, hold on. That actually looks pretty good right there. Well, let me figure out what the width, where the width control is, if there is a width control, because that could help out over there. These, this side, that side are pretty good. So I'm gonna work on the electron beamer director a little more. See if I can work out that height. I'm still getting that cut off. So that's my centering. So I mean it looks fine there. I just would like it to be a little better like it to be better. Yes, yeah, so this is about the best image I can get so far. I'm going to hook up a uh, VCR and see how it's coming through, make any adjustments. 
Alright, hooked up a uh, VCR. We're gonna see how it's looking on here. Okay, so I might have just, there's something going on with this, some loose connection or something going on with the, the pot there, but the image looks fine. Um, you can sort of see when I turn up the brightness, the sort of the retrace lines, yeah, those, I mean, those were pretty expected on the uh, 40s sets. But I mean, if you turn up the contrast, you can't really see them anymore. So I, I mean, once I put it back in the case, I don't think you'll be able to see, you know, up top there. I'm gonna reach out to the client and see what, what he would want. But I think the image looks fine. Um, Yeah, sound buzz is gone. Okay, so the sound buzz is gone for some reason. Um, and this picture does look more full now, which I like, of course. Oh, you can still sort of hear the buzz. Maybe just because it's a loud scene. I mean, the picture looks really good. And this tube tests great. I'm, uh, my client is going to be happy about this. And the picture looks great. I'm happy about this. So here it is back on. <clears throat> I turned the brightness down for the camera. It's, that's, that's full brightness. So yeah, it looks, it looks pretty good. Put the speaker back in. Um, image looks great. He did a good job restoring it. See, I just got it, got the high voltage back for him. So yeah, I turned the brightness down for this, but uh, yeah, the image looks good. I like this TV a lot. I love the roundy tubes, the late 40s, early 50s. I'm currently still working on my Zenith porthole. So I, I sort of have the same problem with the centering over here. Uh, so I need to, that's probably gonna be the next video I make is trying to finally get this working because a picture showing up on that tube is going to look just beautiful. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, that's, this is just a quick video of just getting high voltage back on this restored set and some of the, I guess, things you should watch out for 
loose solder connections if it was working before. Just look around the high voltage area. 